Busy day yesterday, Mr. Chairman. First of all, what is the timetable for tax reform? Are we going to get this passed out of the House before Thanksgiving? Oh, I absolutely believe we will. It's off to a great start. Uh, people want a fair, flatter, simpler, more competitive uh, tax code. Uh, my hat's off to uh, Chairman Brady. My hat's off to the Speaker. I think we're off to a great start. It's going to be a shot in the arm for uh, small businesses, for our corporations, uh, working families. Uh, we're going to see their paychecks go up. Uh, this is a great rollout, and I'm convinced we can get it done before Thanksgiving. One of the things, uh, the Realtors Association in particular, they had some concerns about this legislation. They say that, uh, particularly on the mortgage deduction, what's your response to criticism from realtors on this? Well, I think what they ought to look long and hard at is the difference between, say, a 3 and a 3.5% growth economy and a 1.5% to 2% economy that we've seen during the Obama years. And so, ultimately, what's going to help home sales and people achieve the American dream of home ownership is a growing economy. So, uh, the interest deduction uh, is still uh, preserved, uh, but the standard deduction goes up, and that's going to help a lot of working families. But ultimately, uh, I think that all people will benefit uh, from a growing economy, and I, I hope they'll look, uh, take a second look at what they're doing. I also don't think they'll be successful. I think that there is a lot of momentum behind this plan, and ultimately, th this is what the American people want, and it's what the economy needs. Switching gears, Jay Powell, Federal Reserve, getting widespread praise, yourself included, and even some Democrats uh, kind of giving him, uh, like, okay, well, we're, we're okay with this. But talk of vice chair. John Taylor, would he make a good vice chairman for the Federal Reserve? Well, I think he would have made a great chairman, <laughs> but uh, he would also make a great vice chairman as well. So, uh, listen, I don't know Mr. Powell very well. I've only met him once, but uh, I'm not the president. He's the president's uh, nominee, clearly, having been on the Fed for five years. Uh, he knows uh, a, a lot, so I look forward to getting to know him better and working with him. I mean, I do have some concerns. I think that uh, we have taken way too long to get back to any kind of normalcy of Fed policy. I'm still concerned that the Federal Reserve is engaged in fiscal policy. I'm looking forward to getting, winding down this balance sheet, getting back to transparency, getting back to a Treasuries only uh, balance sheet. I still think the Fed footprint uh, is too large in this economy. But uh, bottom line is, it's the president's pick. I want to give him the benefit of the doubt, but I certainly think this Federal Reserve could definitely benefit uh, from having John Taylor's leadership and wisdom, if not at the top slot. Uh, it would be my hope that the president might offer him the number two slot, and maybe he would accept. Yeah. Yeah. Busy week in Washington, uh, but some news that also made some news is that you're retiring end of next term. I read that news. Yeah. <laughs> but you've got a lot uh, of, of work ahead of you in the next 14 months. I interviewed uh, Banking Committee Chairman Mike Crapo yesterday, and he says that they're moving now, finally, on some of their legislation. I know you guys have passed uh, a bunch of legislation on community banks in particular. Have you spoken with him? What's the timetable on when you think this could actually get on the president's desk, some type of deregulatory relief package after tax reform? Well, I certainly hope so. Uh, as you well know, we passed our bill months and months ago, and it's been gathering dust at the Senate. Not <laughs> Senator Crapo's fault, but unfortunately, the other party has been dragging their feet on a lot of nominations. But the bottom line is, is that one of the impediments to economic growth has been the onslaught, the sheer uh, weight, volume, complexity of banking regulation post Dodd-Frank. And so we've had a uh, the Financial Choice Act that's been sitting over there for quite some time. I've been looking forward to going to conference with the Senate. Uh, hopefully, uh, Senator Crapo has now broken the logjam. We're losing a community bank a day uh, in America. We've seen entrepreneurship at a generational low. Small business lending by banks has been at about a 25-year low. Now, we're seeing good signs. Two quarters of 3% GDP growth is a, is a great sign. But tax reform will be a huge shot in the arm. But this economy will not really take off until we get regulatory reform and unleash capital as Very well. quickly, 14 months from now, Financial Choice Act, will it be signed into law? Well, uh, portions of it will be enacted either through administrative policy, possibly through the appropriations process. I'd like to think that the full uh, the full bill would be signed in the law. That's probably I'm not sure Santa Claus is going to be that nice to me next Christmas, but hopefully there'll be lots of goodies in the stocking.